Hello, this is Bryant Myers, and welcome to another edition of Debunking Flat Earth. In this exciting episode, I want to share with you a little bit of the details of the launch this morning, and I want to go through the first images that came from Artemis, uh, actually around 11 a.m. this morning, and I, I spent a lot of time today validating these images in every way I knew how. So, you know, some of the first things I heard from Flat Earthers, of course, is, you know, CGI, it's fake, it's NASA, etc. So, so I want to put that to rest. And now I want to start with a quote that I've been hearing from Flat Earthers now for about a year. And it's a quote by uh, Don Pettit. I go to the moon in a nanosecond. The problem is we don't have the technology to do that anymore. We used to, but we destroyed that technology and it's a painful process to build it back again. And so, well, guess what, Flat Earthers? You can't use that quote anymore because we have the technology and it's back again. And um, it's actually very exciting that uh, we have this historic uh, event take place. In today's kind of short video, I want to focus on the validity of these first photos. It's really the, the image you're seeing right here is this image I want to go through today. And it is the first image in a human rated rocket since Apollo, the last Apollo mission, 1972. Before we get into looking at the image, I just want to mention that, you know, Artemis, it's, it's the most powerful rocket that NASA's ever produced. I mean, some, somewhere around the ballpark of 9 million pounds of thrust. So that is to say, an object that's 9 million pounds, it could, it could counteract the force of gravity with a, for a 9 million pound object. I want to go through just a little snippet from Red's rhetoric, because he was there, and he did a whole live stream. But, but there's no doubt that people witnessed this, this launch. I mean, I, upwards, I mean, I think over 100,000, 200,000 total. And it's just, there was just a lot of people that got to see this firsthand. So let's just play this little clip of, of Red's, and I want to play his version because it's not the news. This is someone that was, was there live filming, and it's just such a realistic um, depiction of the launch. Main engine start, booster ignition, and lift off. And I just want to play one more clip in case you haven't seen it. Just the first sort of announcement of the first images from space on a human rated rocket since Apollo. And you're seeing there on your screen our first Earth views. This view of Earth captured from a human rated spacecraft not seen since 1972 during the final Apollo mission some 50 years ago. The views of our blue marble in the blackness of space now capturing the imagination of a new generation, the Artemis generation. Orion looking back at Earth as it travels toward the moon 57,000 miles away from the place we call home. It's just incredible. I, I just can't watch that enough. It's just so beautiful. And, you know, for flat earthers to call this fake and CGI, it's just such a slap in the face on as a human race, how we've developed and how our technology has brought us to this amazing civilization we live in right now. The first thing I want to look at, because I did post a little video short on my YouTube channel earlier today with what you just saw, and of course right away I get CGI, fake, you know, from people commenting. So the first thing that came to mind was, well, let's, let's go to GOES-16 or Himawari. It turns out it was GOES, because Himawari is on the other side when this happened. And let's look at what the GOES-16 has at the same time that the image was taken. So, so this image, I you know, did a little digging and it was taken nine and a half hours after the launch. So around you know, 11, 17 this morning, Eastern Standard Time, and I go to GOES and I download the closest image to that time. Now, one thing to keep in mind is GOES is a weather satellite, so it's gonna be much more clear. But the key thing is to look at the structures. And I spent, I spent a lot of time looking at these two images. And there's just a lot of details that you can confirm. This is why I got my big red cursor here today. So you can see over here on the Blue Marble 2022, the new Blue Marble, which just was taken this morning, you can see this little spiraling arm. And if you really spend some time looking at these photos, uh, you'll see that the structure, you know, take away the blurriness, just look at the structure here. It matches perfectly. I mean, and if you really go into all the details in between the cracks and everything, it, it just all matches perfectly. And again, remember, this is all scaled. You have, you have to rotate 
it up a little bit. So I, again, there was just no way that I could get the image rotated because of the way the images are taken. It's a geostationary satellite, so you have to just take what, what's given to you. So the, the Artemis was at a different angle, but it was good enough. So another thing you can do is you can go over here, like this little image here, compare to this. And if you really spend some time looking again, looking at the overall shape, you'll see that it matches almost perfectly. I mean, it's not gonna be perfect because again, this is not gonna be as clear, but the actual, if you can just sort of rotate a little bit and do a little 3D visualization, you'll see that the perspective is such that it would look this way if the whole thing was, was, was rotated over a little bit and up. Um, and if you go through over here, I also notice, see this little, um, it's almost like a little monster, like a, like a Tyrannosaurus Rex or something, little mouth here with a jaw, right? So now again, remember this, it's, this, this right over here, you can see the same, look at the same exact pattern. Now it's more filled in here because of the, the light and the scattering and the, there's more haze, because GOES is designed to give us the clearest images of the surface of the earth and cloud cover, so it's gonna be much better. But, but you can see the shape, it's the same shape. If you kind of just play with this, you know, even like the little lines in here, it's all the same. And you can also see, again, it's a little blurry, but you can see that kind of that little hole in the middle here. Um, but I'm gonna put a link, and if you really spend some time and go through this, and, and if you just kind of, you almost have to kind of imagine that these clouds on the goes are just a little more hazier and filled in, but the overall structure's mass. So this is really good confirmation that the image taken from goes is matching the image taken from the Artemis. So I, and I did check ISS. Unfortunately, ISS was not on this side of the earth at the time that this happened, at the time this image was taken. So I was hoping for some ISS shots, but it was like an hour later, and they just didn't have good camera angles today. But anyway, it, it's, it's still really good confirmation, and it's a good starting point. So something else that I did was I took the best resolution image of this Blue Marble 2022, and I put it into photo forensic. So we're gonna go through this here a little bit. And I'm gonna, um, I'm gonna share in a link below a tutorial video um, on if you wanna do forensically and photo forensic. So I, so I actually have the image loaded in both photo forensics and, forensic, for, and forensically. So here it is in photo forensics. There's, there's like four levels that you wanna do to confirm a photo is fake or not. And again, this is no, guarantee it's just a level of it's just a layer of evidence and it's something that i don't see flat earthers do they just say oh it's fake and they don't really do any investigation into proving or giving us any evidence that it's fake they just say it's fake well what's your evidence show me some proof that it's fake so we want to start with the magnifier um, and what the magnifier will do is it'll show you the edges and now you can see it looks like some funny stuff going on here but um, it took me a while to kind of figure this out. And it wasn't until I actually uploaded my own photograph here. So I know this photo is real. That's why I uploaded it. Because I'm like, what's going on here? So, so look over at the trees here. You can kind of see the same little stuff going on around the edges. So, you know, I was seeing some kind of weird stuff even on here. Okay, so now the next thing we can do. So nothing really fishy there because I see the same thing on my own, on my own photograph. And it's consistent. So the next thing is clone detection. So I have the defaults, and this is what the guy that developed the software recommended these settings. So I'm not gonna fiddle with the other settings here. And, and what this does is it'll show you if there's something copied and pasted. So like, you know, if, if there were some clouds that were copied and, and put another place. Now this is very low resolution, yes, but, and it, but you know, some of these areas, and I've done this with many different photos and even real photos are gonna light up in different spots because you might have the same color in a couple different places. But when you have something that's truly fake, you're gonna get these purple lines like really heavy in that area. Like if this was somehow copied over here, it would be just purple lines across very obviously. So definitely nothing, nothing fishy here. And again, we can, we can go into clone detection on my image. Okay, so yeah, you, you can see a couple little purple dots here. Um, so, you know, even in real images, you're gonna see these things light up a little bit. Um, so the next thing uh, um, is the error level analysis. And what they recommend is starting all the way to 100%, so you're not gonna really see anything, and you slowly move it over. If this is a fake, typically what happens is a certain part will light up before another. 
And if it's not a fake, typically they all come in focused together here. Um, let's see. And, and, I've, and I did this several times and there was no indications of it being a fake. No indications of one part of the image looking different than the other. Um, and even on photo forensics here, there was nothing out of the ordinary in their, in their diagnostic tools. So nothing fishy with error. And this is important because if it's a fake image, what you're gonna see is you're gonna see like if this was fake here, this would, this would be brighter or a different, a different pattern than this. And in these tutorials, I'm gonna put links below. They give you examples of fake images. So, um, so again, don't take my word for it. You know, check this out on your own. Um, another thing, a noise level analysis is kind of a similar thing. And again, nothing, no red flags. If you follow the tutorials, everything is very consistent here. So absolutely no, no red flags. So, so again, this is a, a pretty good piece of evidence that there's nothing fishy going on here, that this is actually a real photo. And with photo forensics here, they did have um, this, hidden this hidden pixel option. So if there was something hidden or, or taken out or, um, and, and there's not, it's just very consistent. It's a very clean, and, and they give some examples where there was funny business going on and there's, it's very evident if there's fishiness going on that there's, there's gaps or, or problems in this, in, this, in this screen here. So, um, well, Flat Earthers, um, I hate to break it to you, but I can't find any evidence that this is a fake image. Um, if you think it is fake, it's, you have to provide some positive evidence to, to, to show that it's, it's fake or CGI because I spent uh, pretty much all afternoon going through this and confirming with GOES17, confirming with Photo Forensics, both photoforensic.com and Forensically, two different Photo Forensics tools. I, I saw it in both. So thanks for watching. I hope you enjoyed this video. Please do like this video and leave some comments. I, I would like to hear your feedback if there's any other ways that you guys know of to, to validate these images or or flat earthers, if you have some evidence to show that these are fake, I would love to see your evidence. And, and, and make sure to subscribe to my channel too, because I, I do have many more coming, including that next video on rocket science. So thanks again and have a great evening.